Hey everybody, so today we're back and we're gonna be cutting up some orange calcite with blue appetite mixed in. I'm pumped because I think this is gonna come out really nice. Between the orange and the blue, that should really make these pop and look awesome. So let's see, I mean, I have a bunch more of these too, so we're gonna cut a whole bunch of them. But for an example, check this out. You got that beautiful orange calcite, and these are from Brazil. And then you got tons of blue appetite mixed in. Now, not all of them I have are super heavy on the appetite, but hopefully inside we'll see some of that blue appetite really popping through and really stand out between the orange and the blue. I think it's going to be awesome. Both of these I love. I love orange calcite and love blue appetite. Should be easy to cut and fun to work with. So let's see what we can make out of these guys. I, I don't know. We're going to make maybe some towers, slabs, a little of everything. So stay tuned. We're going to head on over to the saw and see what we can do. Here we go. I'm excited to cut into this and see what we got. Got a whole bunch of pieces here. And some of these, they don't look like much on the outside, but hopefully once we get in there, all that beautiful orange and blue will pop out. So let's start with this guy and see how it goes. Let me see how I'm gonna cut this guy. Cut it this way, right in half. All right, let's see what we're working with. And it's a little dirty, so we're gonna have to clean it up. But I think that is going to be beautiful. It's got that soft orange mixed with those big blue appetite crystals. So this guy, a lot of these I like to turn into little towers, but Maybe I'll go back at the end this time and see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to keep going and keep cutting these up. See what this side looks like. Very similar. And you can see that beautiful appetite crystal. Awesome looking. I think this is going to polish up and be beautiful in the end. Let's keep cutting. I, I really, I was working with serpentine. So if you notice, it's a little muddy, the water. And it's probably getting some of that serpentine juice, I guess you'd say, on these. So it's a little extra messy than it would if it was really clean, like clean water. So let's keep going and see what we could do in the end. And I think these are going to come out really nice. Okay, this guy, let's see, I mean, this doesn't look like it has a whole ton of color, but hopefully when we get in there, it'll definitely pop out. Let's see what happens. So I think we're going to have to wait for the cleanup on a lot of these because it's either they're really boring because there's no appetite popping out or once I really clean this up and polish it, but we might just hit like an area that doesn't have that deep orange. So let's keep going and see what we got here. I mean, I'm looking more for a deeper color like that. So... It is what it is. We'll keep going and see see what we got here. All these look really interesting from the outside. So hopefully they look just as cool on the inside.
There we go. Now that looks cool. Not a lot of blue appetite, but orange calcite galore. So even if we're not hitting any big appetite crystals, hopefully the uh, calcite will make up for it. So let's see. Let's keep, keep it going. These I think I'm going to turn into two towers regardless. This guy, this guy has a ton of crystals. So I'm going to take this guy right in half and hope we get some of the crystals going through the other way. Okay, so we're all done, honestly. Very hard to see because it looks like it just came out of a mud puddle. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is go get this all scrubbed up and cleaned up. Clean up my saw because I that bothers me. I'm a little OCD when it comes to that stuff. So I'm going to get this all cleaned up. And then we're going to head on over to the polisher and see what we got. Doesn't look like much right here. Just looking at it, it looks like, you know, it was laying outside and in a, a mudslide. So let's see what we're working with here. And then we'll get it all polished up. And I think this is going to come out really nice. So I'll meet you guys over at the polisher in a few minutes. All right, we're over at the polisher. So let's see what we got here. A lot of these look like this, which is still very beautiful. Blue Appetite running through. You got the orange calcite. Just nice stuff. Some of it's a little more, after washing it off, more orange. You have the orange and the blue more just popping out, but you could see a lot of that Blue Appetite coming through. Now some of these, the patterns are crazy looking. Kind of not what I expected. I expected more of the crystals kind of forming, that kind of thing, cutting through, but still very cool, very interesting stuff. And it's got that faint blue appetite. I did expect more crystals, so I don't know if it's just the batch of material like I, I've seen some of this stuff rough where it comes in and it's just loaded with crystals but a lot of these still really nice looking material made some really cool looking towers out of these and now it is time to polish them and then we could get them under the light and check them all out but I think these are still pretty cool I'm mildly disappointed. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. This is, it is what it is, but it doesn't always come out exactly like you're thinking, but still beautiful material. But I just, a lot of these like little ones, I expected more color, but still cool. We're still gonna polish everything up and get it looking beautiful got that beautiful orange calcite just a soft orange on a lot of these as opposed to now dependent I think too the reason like this comes out of Brazil and it's more of that orange like orchid type of calcite than it is the type that comes out of Mexico which is that really bright bright orange so it's just the type of material we're working with and where it comes from but it's still absolutely beautiful stuff crazy patterns on it and there's a lot going on and i think even after 
once we polish this, it's gonna come out even better. So let's uh, do that and get these under the light and see how everything looks at the end. Wow. The more I look at this, I mean, that is really nice stuff though. You can see like a lot of the oranges popping out there, grays, some blues, really cool looking. Now we're talking. Look at all that beautiful orange popping out and it's even deeper of a color once we start getting that surface material off and same with this guy it's really popping out now so maybe that is the key once you polish this and take that surface off these are really coming to life now really nice let's keep going i have a lot whole basket here to get through all right so we're getting there we're gonna move on to the next grit the next wheel and keep polishing again definitely different than I expected I, I expected these to come out a little bit different with more of the blue appetite and the orange, but still really nice material and taking a nice polish. So I've just been polishing for probably about two hours straight. <laughs> so <laughs> finally gonna move into the next grit here. So let's keep going. <laughs> Keep going, we're almost done on the last grit now. So we're done polishing everything up and I'm thinking these came out pretty darn cool. So check out some of these awesome contrast of colors between the different colors of calcite. Looks like this type of material, which comes from uh, Brazil, has calcite that ranges anywhere from a white all the way to a darker red and even like a deep brown. And then uh, there's also the blue appetite mixed in with all the crystals. I mean, it's really beautiful. And you get that dark blue with that pop of orange. And this one, you could really see the contrast and really see some of these crystals. I mean, we we're slicing through some pretty thick blue appetite crystals here. You could see them on the end. That's pretty awesome. Really cool. All different patterns. This one has grays on the back um all different types now some of these in the back here check this out i think this is cool too it's like primarily white but it ranges all the way from a uh, that pinkish like color calcite all the way up to a white really cool different all the veins and stuff and this one it's more prominent you have that pinkish hue of the calcite and this one has all kinds of cool veins running through it. Really neat. Different kind of material. Not your typical calcite. You're, you know, you're thinking 
orange calcite. I mean, this is orange calcite, but it's more of like that orchid type, not your traditional bright uh, orange calcite that would come out of uh, Mexico. But I'm loving it. I, like this one, this one has a really, a bunch of blue uh, appetite crystals popping through, which is pretty cool. This one has a lot of that brown patterns. I mean, there's just so many different colors on these. And really nice energy off of this stuff, too. It was nice working with it, too. Nice, vibrant energy. And everyone is, you know, that's why I love crystals. I love minerals. Like, every, everything is different. You're never going to find two of the same. I mean, unless it's a solid material. <laughs> But you're never going to find two of the same. Everything looks so different. I mean, it's nature's art. Even in the tiny little pieces like this, you find so much beauty. And here's another nice one. Look at this little slab, this little slice. Both sides. I mean, it looks like writing on this thing, like ancient writing. It's amazing looking. I love doing stuff like this and, and getting really cool pieces out of just awesome. So what else do we got here? I think I went through pretty much everything. I'm, I don't know if there's any other ones that have any crazy like blue appetite crystals coming out. This one has a lot on the back, which is all on that rough side. Really cool. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. And these these are my favorite, of course, the brighter ones. But not necessarily. Honestly, this one here, I I, I love this one. With all the different patterns and, and colors and textures. Maybe even more so than this guy. But everybody's always looking for bright reds and, you know, all that kind of stuff on calcite when you're buying it. But got to appreciate every piece and i i definitely do so all right i think that's about it hope you guys liked it and uh, what do you guys think how about that <laughs> let me know what you think do you think this stuff is pretty cool looking is it nice i mean i think it came out pretty good i mean if if something doesn't come out good i'll be the first to admit it like this one i'm hiding in the back I, I mean, I don't know. This one might be a freebie gift that's to someone. It's a cool little tower. But just the way the, the calcite ran around the side, it looks like it almost gives it like the impression that it's um, polished wrong or something goofy's going on. But that's just naturally how it looks. I mean, some of them don't come out exactly perfect. And that's okay. That's what this one is. It's just like me, not perfect. So <laughs> I appreciate all of them, but I did kind of hide it back here, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I don't think this one was all amazing too. This one has something similar going on. It has primarily like a white kind of top, which kind of looks a little weird, but I still think they all came out pretty cool and happy to share with everybody. All right, I will see everybody next time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And next time, who knows? Let's see what we're going to make. Some kind of crazy stuff, I'm sure. So look forward to it.